A lot of people are talking about feeling guilty at the moment, feeling guilty about carrying on their everyday lives when there are so many people suffering in the world and particularly, as I record this, in Ukraine. So guilt is a, a natural emotion. It's a strong emotion that is designed to alert us when something that we are doing or not doing is not in alignment with our core beliefs and values. But sometimes guilt overtakes all our emotions and our headspace and we need to get back in control. So how can we do this? First of all, you can ask yourself, what can I do? Remembering that guilt is a call to action. If you have done something to, to hurt another person, your guilt will alert you to the fact that you need to do something to make up for that in some way. When it's guilt about carrying on life as normal, sleeping soundly in your bed, when so many people aren't, then it's still a call to action, but we take a slightly different approach. So after asking yourself, what can I do? And remembering that this can be from very small actions to large grand gestures. Whatever you can do, this may be donating a small amount of money to an official support fund, a charity. It could be donating some items to a charity who are collecting things to send to people in need. But it could equally be sharing information, showing your support on an emotional or spiritual level. And if you are the praying kind, then saying prayers or keeping the people who are struggling in your thoughts. So the first thing is to ask yourself, what can I do? And then to take action. And it doesn't matter how small that action is. Doing something is always better than doing nothing at all. Secondly, knowing that you have done what you can, it's time for you to get on with your everyday life. We need to keep going. We need to keep moving forward and we need to keep the economy going and the world turning on its axis by working, by buying stuff, by living our lives. 